So, guys, today I will be doing my school haul. I have a zebra backpack, and all my stuff will be in this zipper, no other zippers. So, we're going to be starting with a sheet of paper. So, this is a five-star piece because, just because it's college, and so, yeah. And, um, this is what it actually looks like. It has the triangles because they're harder to rip. So, I'm just going to put that back in my backpack now. And let's move on to folders. I need to get five different folders. Let's go. I have a red folder, a yellow folder, they're all different because, except, it's because these ones, they're bendable because they're made from prong. This one is um, flat because I just got this one, so that's one of them. And then... I had to get a green one. It's a bendy, bendable one. It's the prong brand. This is actually bendy, but it's not prong, so it's not as easy to bend. And it's two pocket, just like the rest. And then my last color will be blue. It's by prong, so I'm going to put those back in my backpack. And now I'm going to be sharing you my notebooks that I had to get for school. So I had to get two really big notebooks. My first one is a three. It has a bendable cover, so then um, I can't rip the cover. But then this notebook that I'm about to show you, this one, it's the older kind. It does not have the bendy cover, so if I try to bend it, it'll just tear or make a crease and then I heard in fifth grade that you use composition notebook a lot so I decided to get a neon pink and this is by colors right down there and I got this right at the dollar store it did not cost a lot it was like a buck or two and it's designed better than the other one so it's actually pretty cute of a design how they made it. And then I have this cute little bag because it's supposed to go in binders. Things like this. But, so let me show you what's in this pocket. In this pocket, I hold my pencils. I like these pencils because we got them from Walmart and if you can see it has two stack. Here, I'm going to try something out real quick, so I'll be right back. Boys, can you turn on our lamp? Yeah. I'm going to see if that's better than you. Oh, there it is. So guys, I decided to make the room a little bit darker. Sorry, let me move you away from it. Oh. Here, let me just So, we have these pencils that I was telling you about. USA golden ones. And let's stuff that right. Oops. So now, here's my highlighters. I got this special pack where I get two of the same color, which that would be the, my yellow ones. You can see these better if you go like this. You can see the colors. And if you didn't know, I changed the lighting on it because it was getting really dark. And then these earbuds are also from Walmart. They are really good earbuds, I hear. They're by Ann and... Yeah, they have dynamic sound. So I decided to get turquoise. It looks kind of like blue if I don't tilt it like this right there. You can see it. And then my last pocket on my thing. And these are really easy to zip. You grab the zipper and it takes it right by. And then my second pocket... 
is I actually have two puppets on us, but I got a neon eraser and it says they clean and clear all writing on your paper. So then like it's trying to say like when you write on your paper and then you want to go and erase it, it'll try to erase it clear. I'm only going to show my colored pencils, uh, not my colored pencils, but my lead pencils. They come with extra blue, green, and orange erasers. It comes with the little lead box, but I don't want to pull that stuff out. But uh, here it is, and if you see my nails, I just did these a few days ago, so they're not as brand new as you think. And so I have blue, green, and orange. And then last but not least... I do have extra markers in my other zipper on my backpack, but I decided to take blue and... Wait, no. Is this blue? Is this purple? Yeah, I think it's purple. So I decided to take purple and red. Oh, yeah, that is definitely purple. You can see it a little bit now. Purple and red. And then I'll show you the rest of the colors for it. After I finish showing you the stuff in my big pocket. And if you don't know me, I actually like to put stuff in one other pocket. But that's towards the end of the school year. So, now, let's get to the awesome things. So, in fifth grade, I heard you will be using markers for my year. And I got... Um, 10 pack and they are really bright colors I think it starts over here with so it goes from black purple orange red wait I'm not sure I think there's two oranges yellow then green then green then blue then brown so those are my colors that I get the lighting is way better now than before because I decided to change it. So then a lot of kids have been getting these flexi roller. Mm -hmm. So a flexi roller, if like you have something round to measure, you can like twist it. But if you twist it too much, it'll get stuck and you can't unbend it because that happened to a kid. And then you have to hold it down super hard. It gets harder and harder as you use it. And then I'm going to show you one of the cooler things about school. So in my grade, you're supposed to be getting um, four to five little Elmer's glue, but I decided, well, my parents decided to give me the bulky ones. They're extra thick like that. And I have three, three for two dollars. And it came in a little box. So. And I like Elmer's just because, like, Every time I've ever used Elmer's, it's worked for me, and I don't have to, like, stop using it. Because whether it's an Elmer's glue stick or an Elmer's bottle, it works out. We have Elmer's bottles, and they go terrific. People say that you have to give markers to your teacher, but I'm going to trick my teacher by doing one thing. Yeah, that color I showed you, it was purple. These three markers I put in this pouch of my backpack because my teachers know I do not ever open that pouch. So, yeah. And then in my last pouch that I never, ever use, I'm going to go through it because I have not cleaned this out since third grade. So, let's see what's in here. Just some chapstick. Bubbles and a pencil. So, this pencil is made for Valentine's Day if you can't see, it has hearts on it. 
B E B My Yeah, it says be mine. So that's that. And then I have my chapstick that I always bring to school. And then I have little bubbles. I got these in second grade. So I don't know what I have those in there. So. If you know my parents, they make me give my house key to my brother, which he is not responsible. So I no longer have a house key, so I have to get a new one. And then, yeah, so my backpack is pretty much cleared out. And that folder and that composition notebook that I showed you, I just got back today. And so I'm going to show you the clothes that I'm going to be wearing on my first day of school just because, oh, that's my turn. Just because I personally really like this outfit. And tell me if you like this outfit. It is so, so cute to me. Like, it's so hard to resist wearing. So I'm going to set it up, and then I will show you. So my room's actually super messy, so this will be harder for me to get to. Hold on. put you guys right there. I have to clean up this space. I have popcorn on the floor. I have to clean that up. So I will be telling you the prices of my shirt. This shirt was at Old Navy. I went there at a mall and this was $10 for she is it's kind of messed up. Oh wait what does that say? I can't see it. She is so I'm very bad at cursive, so I do not know that word. But then I have beautiful pants. These are also from Old Navy. They're ballerina. And if you know me, I am super tiny. So these are really tiny. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. But these were $30 pants. But here is my first day of school outfit. Hope you guys like it as much as I do. So I have the leaf. Can you guys see? That shirt. And then it has. Sorry, I can't see the whole shirt. 